Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and today I'm going to do a 2013 NHL draft review for the Philadelphia Flyers. So, we're going to go through each round that the Flyers had a pick in, and we're going to evaluate the players and what I think they could possibly do if they make it to the NHL level, and to see if they were a good pick or a bad pick. So, I personally think that the Flyers drafted pretty well this year, but... Let's go into review on the, all the players that they selected this year. So, let's get started. So, surprising, surprisingly to me, I thought the Flyers would have definitely moved up in this draft, but surprisingly they did stay stayed at number 11 to take the pick. Now, with the number 11th overall pick in the 2013 NHL draft, the Flyers selected defenseman Samuel Morin from the Romulski Oceanic from the QMJHL. So, Sam Warren, 6'6", uh, 202, he is a left-handed shot, and uh, not ma his overall final rank was to go number 23. So, apparently the Flyers must have had this guy pretty high on their draft board. Um, he is a pretty tall kid, not many people can uh, look Chris Pronger eye-to-eye -eye when they took the picture. I saw that he was a, a little bit taller than Chris Pronger was, which was pretty amazing, so not many people can look him eye to eye. Uh, the stats on for his last year in Romulski in the QMJHL 46 games played, 4 goals, 12 to 6, 12 assists for 16 points. Now the one problem that does worry me is his penalty minutes were up to 177, 117 penalty minutes last year. Now that does kind of worry me. I just want to know I'm not so sure this was the right pick for the Flyers at number 11. I mean, if you look at all the defensemen that got drafted before him and the ones after him, I still think there were better picks to choose than Sam Samuel Morton. I mean, if we look at the guys before him, Seth Jones went at number 4, Darnell Nurse went at number 7, Rasmus Ristolainen, and the guy who I thought the Flyers were going to pick, he went at number 8, Morton was at number 11, Josh Morrissey was at number 13, 13. Ryan Pulak, who another guy who I thought the Flyers might have drafted, he went at 15. And Nikita Zadorov went at number 16. And even Shea Theodore, the guy from our GM mode, he went at number 26. So I think all those guys who got drafted before and after Samuel Morin probably might be a little bit better than Sam Morin. But still, Flyers picked him for a reason because they must have liked him. And uh, yeah, so what they're basically saying about Samuel Morin is he is a big, big like he described himself as a two-way defenseman uh, his offensive stats really don't dazzle his offensive play really doesn't dazzle anybody at first but there were a lot of people saying that he has a really really good upside for defense um, they're saying that he does make a ton of good outlet passes uh, he can fight I mean if you're gonna play in Philly you gotta know how to how to fight somewhat and he can fight like I said those penalty minutes do worry me but I, I really do see why the Philadelphia Flyers got him, just because he is a big body, and the Flyers last year gave up a ton of goals last year on second attempt chances chances in front of the net. So this guy would definitely be a person who the Flyers would put in front of the net and just get that net cleared out of the way. So he could just throw the body around the front of the net, clear it up so the goalie can make an easy save. So like I said, I think there were better people than uh, Samuel Morin that the Flyers could have chosen, but... I guess that we'll have to uh, be happy with this choice. And Sammy Moore, and he is a Canadian, so yeah, I think it's a I think it's a good overall pick. I, I don't know if he'll ever make it to. I don't know if he would. Uh, imp I don't see him impacting the Flyers team right away. I think maybe like two or three more years, and then maybe possibly you could see this guy make his way onto the Philadelphia Flyers team. So that was our first round pick at number eleven. Now. The biggest pick of the day, I personally think, for the Flyers came in the second round at number 41. So with the number 40, with the number 41 overall pick in the 2013 NHL Draft, the Philadelphia Flyers selected defenseman Robert Hag from Moto, from the team Moto in Sweden. Now this guy, I think, was the biggest steal of the second round. This guy was projected to go in the top 30, and he slipped all the way down to number 41. So I think this was a big, big steal for the Philadelphia Flyers. So uh, Robert Hag, uh, 6'2", 201, 
defenseman. He's more of an offensive defenseman. I really like this guy. His offensive stats, uh, this guy knows how to shoot the puck. He knows how to pass. Um, this guy is just an overall well-rounded, good, Swedish, super Swede defenseman. Uh, he played pretty good for the World Juniors in Sweden. And uh, uh, let's see. So like I said, he has a really good offensive upside. Um, I just like him as an overall well-rounded player. Uh, I could actually, I, in my personal opinion, I could see freaking uh, Robert Hag making it to the NHL quicker than uh, Samuel Morin does just because I like his offensive play as a defenseman. He makes some really, really good passes. He's a very good passer. And uh, I could maybe see him taking a chemo team in his spot one day on the uh, Philadelphia Flyers roster. So I think that was a great pick. What a steal in the second round for the Flyers to take Samuel, uh, not Samuel Morin, Robert Hag not, at number 41. That, I think that was the biggest steal of the second round for the Flyers and for the draft as an overall. I think that was great. Other than maybe Zachary Foucault going to Montreal, I think this was a big pick for the Flyers. Now, uh, at, in the third round, at number 72 overall, the Flyers the Flyers took left wing Tyrell Goldborn out of a Kelwona Colo uh, Kelwona of the WHL. Uh, this guy is kind of your typical Philadelphia Flyers player, 5'10", uh, 191, 64 games played for Kelwona last year. I can't say that name. Uh, 14 goals, 13 assists, 27 points, 135 penalty minutes. However, those aren't really just all just minor penalties. They're more major penalties because uh, this guy does like to fight a lot. Um, he can fight. He can throw the body around. He's basically, I could see him maybe just being a future fourth or third liner for the Flyers. More of a fourth liner just because he can throw the body around. Maybe like a future Zach Ronaldo guy. There's not much on him just other than the fact that he can fight. Um, yeah, he, he was ranked 151 overall, and he went 74. So, eh, you know, the Flyers, they like their fighting guys. So uh, maybe he can make it onto the Flyers team one day as a fighter. Now, uh, the last three picks, there's not really much info on these guys because all three of these guys are from high school or they're very young. So fifth round pick uh, at number 132, the Flyers took another defenseman. Terrence Amorosa from Holderness High School, um, at number in sixth round, at number 162, they took a goalie in uh, Merrick Madison, and 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 in round seven at one number 192, they took another defenseman, David Drake from Des Moines uh, USHL from the, I think that's the United States Hockey League, and Merrick Madison was from Proctor High School. So there's not much really information on these guys. Yeah, I like the fact that they took two uh, kids for defense. Uh, I know this Terrence Amorosa guy, and uh, Terrence Amorosa guy doesn't play in the hardest um, division. I know Holderness, I looked it up, Holderness High School does not play the toughest people, but he's going to college next year in a very competitive college uh, league, so hopefully that'll turn him around for that. Merrick Madison, I kind of looked up his stats. Uh, he had a pretty high uh, goals against average and a not very good save percentage. But you never know. He could turn out to be someone. You always want to try to take at least one goalie in the draft. Um, and then David Drake, not much on this guy. I think he had like a couple games played and uh, no points, like a minus eight or something like that. So, so that's pretty much it. They only took one defense, one forward four defensemen and one goalie. So I kind of like the fact that the Flyers wanted to go after uh, defensemen a lot. So I definitely think that's one place that they needed to upgrade their prospect pool in. Definitely uh, with picking defensemen. As an overall, though, um, I like the picks. I, li I Like I told you guys, I love that second round pick of Robert Hag, but I still think there would have been a better pick than Samuel Moore in, you know, on defensemen. I mean, I would have taken Josh Morrissey, Pulak, Zadarov, Ristolainen, and Nurse even. Well, if they would have got Jones, I mean, that would have been ecstatic. But I still would have thought the Flyers would have moved up and took uh, Ristolainen early because I knew he was going to go somewhat in there. But what are you going to do? We'll just have to see how these guys turn out for the Flyers. Let me know what you guys think if, the, if you're a Flyer fan. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think personally of these uh, draft picks. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see where they eventually end up in maybe two or three or two, three, four years from now. See where these guys eventually end up. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.